this is Mass X with a new Eternal of Evolution video, and we've got a character focus today. They just dropped a new character, Skewer Hottie or Hattie, however you want to pronounce it. This is a badass looking character. Look at some of the graphics on this. This is just sick. This is some of their best work, I think, since this game has come out. Really enjoying this, getting a big kick out of it. But you know, a character can look freaking amazing, but what does it do? Is it going to be worth summoning? Well, let's take a look at its active effect, roundabout. Hattie flashes to the target area and spins their sickle, inflicting 640% attack as damage to all enemies in the area, then flashes back to their original position. I like that move. Passive effect, symbiosis. After entering the battlefield, Skewer immediately summons Hattie to the center of the battlefield. Skewer will prioritize attacking the same target as Hattie. When either Skewer or Hattie dies, the other will die as well. Hattie inherits 100% of Skewer's attack power and defense and 4,000 of his attack power's health. Comes with 50% damage reduction, 30% crit chance, and 30% crit damage. Holy freaking hell. Azure Blade Essence Hattie is deployed with the Azure Blade Essence skill. When entering the battlefield, slash the nearest enemy with the blade, inflicting 500% attack as damage to the target enemy and knocking them up. And of course, as you level up, it increases the damage of roundabout all the way up to 800%. The common Wind Chaser and Heartseeker ritual increases the AS of Skewer by 350 for 15 seconds. Heartseeker ritual increases Hattie's crit rate by 28% and crit damage by 21% for 15 seconds. And of course, that increases as you level it up as you would expect. The next common Soul Seeker chant and Death Dance. For every four basic attacks that Skewer performs, he immediately casts Soul Seeker Chant, increasing the attack and defense of all allies by 4% for 12 seconds, stacking up to three times. Death Dance. When Hattie inflicts a total of three critical strikes, he immediately casts Death Dance, inflicting a total of four stages of damage to the current target with each stage inflicting 160% attack as damage. And as you'd expect, Soul Seeker Chant increases attack defense goes up as well as the Death Dance damage. Oh, that's sick actually. And the passive. Every time Skewer casts Soul Seeker Chant, permanently increase Hattie's crit rate by 3% for the rest of the battle up to 30% max. And that crit rate will increase too as you level this character up. Really, really good stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at this unit in action. Again, one of the absolute coolest features in this game is just to be able to try out units. And in Windseeker, you always have that ability to choose the current summonable featured unit. So we will go ahead and do that and do some battling. Oh, right, I've got it all set up. Let's check out the battle, see how this goes. Let's slow it down a bit. But I want to really check this unit out. I love how they built the character, the graphics. I like the idea between it. I like that synergy with your team and giving that increase. This is a character I think I'm going to have to hardcore summon for. I'm really interested in this character. Let's go ahead and watch a little bit more, see if we can get more of a challenge going. I would like to see her go full on action. There we go. Oh man, you see all that crit rate go up? That That is nice. You can never not be happy with an increased crit rate. That is very cool. Yeah, I think this kit is actually going to be incredibly useful. You know, there hasn't been, I've liked the characters they've released, but for where I'm at in the game, um, I haven't found one that I just want to go all in on again after the first couple that I was totally just going crazy for. And I think this is the one I'm going for. I think after this, we're going to go ahead and do some pulls for fun and see what we can get. I've got one, but I need a couple more because if I'm going to use this as a true 
character on my team, I want to try to level it up a bit to get it really going and then be able to use it on dailies all the time. Well, we're definitely going to be able to get more copies over. We've got 126 pulls. Let's go all in. I really want to use this character in my main. I think this character has a lot of upside with its kit. I think its kit is looking just really cool. There we go. So we've got another one to level. And we still got 66 to go. Gotta love that. Oh, man. Bummer. But the beauty of this game is we'll just get ourselves one of these gene hybrids. I think I have a few stashed away, so that will make leveling this character much easier. Well, I was able to get him up a bit. I've got a little bit more resources. I'm just going to sit back. I can probably get it up another uh, one more level up at this point. But look at those graphics. Look at the character structure. Absolutely gorgeous and a freaking killer kit to say the least. At least I've got level two, level three, level two, level two on the skills. I just want to get those skills up as much as possible to say the least. But my goodness, um, I'm really loving this kit. I think this could be a really helpful unit. I'm going to go ahead and play test it a bunch this week. Let me know if you're going to pull for this character. I am really, this is... The most excited I've been for a character in a while, and I think this is going to become part of my upper tier ones that I work on diligently to level up. With that, as always, please like and subscribe. It helps so, so much. Take care. Have a great day. Have a great week.